Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video we're going to be showing you guys some memory management applications to install in your menu bar in macOS. So as you can see up here in the top, I have a couple of different applications up here in my menu bar that you normally wouldn't be seeing, and they have all so sorts of weird signs like percentage signs, graphs, and little bars up here and things and basically what these are is they are applications that put little displays to show your memory usage or your CPU usage up in your menu bar. They're a lot similar to the activity monitor application which is found by default in the utilities folder on your computer. So if we open up the activity monitor as you can see here we have CPU usage, system memory, disk activity, disk usage, and network. And these are all things that allow us to see like how well our CPU is doing. Like for example, I'm using 4.5% and I have this much of my CPU idle and then this is how much RAM I'm using and things like that and then here's my disk usage and so on and so forth. Now this is really handy but I don't want to keep activity monitor open all the time and I don't want to keep switching back and forth. Let's just say I want to have all of these fancy little graphs and stuff up in my menu bars to see how those are working. Well. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. So there are two applications to get this done. There is one application which you can try for a 14 day free trial where you can buy it for $16 and that is iStat Menus and that is this one right up here with these two up here. And then there is a free alternative to that called Menu Meters which you can download for absolutely free from this site right here and you can download it by clicking the Menu Meters DMG image right down here. So let's show you what they look like first. So the iStat Menus application will install itself as an application right down here and if we launch that up it'll come up to a window that looks like this with the iStat Menus things like this and you can choose all of these different options over here and we also have the uh, right thing over here that shows that this is the 14 day free trial we can choose to buy it or to register it and it has a whole bunch of different awesome options right here like we can choose the skin I believe to the uh, this one right here which actually looks really really cool but I'm gonna choose this one and then we can choose the skin color which will change all of this to like a different color up here but let's change it back to blue for now and then as you can see here we have all the different options to show all of our different graphs. So right now I have the CPU and the memory one checkmark, but I can also checkmark the disk usage one which will bring up a disk usage thing over here as well as a disk activity which will bring this up here and then a network, sensors, date and time and all of this other kind of stuff and you can eventually just have your menu bar completely filled up with options and such. but. I want to be minimalistic and only keep my CPU usage and memory open and you can go further by clicking onto these tabs and you can tweak all of the items down here to show exactly what you want to have displayed. But once you have what you want to have displayed open up here as you can see we can click on these options and it will give you like let's say for example I'm on the CPU graph right here. It will give me a graph of my CPU usage and as you can see it's showing all four cores I have here because this is a quad core system and then you can choose to edit your preferences or open up activity monitor. And also that you can do the same for your memory usage so I'm using that much of RAM and I have one gigabyte and 62 megabytes free and then it shows exactly what applications are using how much so it looks like Google Chrome is actually taking up a lot of my RAM so Chrome is good but it uses up a lot of RAM and that is iStat menus. Now what if you want to have the same functionality but you don't want to spend the $16 to buy iStat menus right here. Well that's where you can use menu meters for because if you don't want to pay the $16 for iStat menus, menu meter is absolutely free. Just download it from here and install it and unlike iStat menus it'll open itself up and install it as a preference pane in system preferences. So right here you can see this is menu meters. And to make things a little bit less complicated I'm going to turn off iStat menus. So now we just have my normal menu bar icons and just ignore these two for now. Those are my screen capture and my fan control which I have separately. You just want to focus on these ones right here that are menu meters. So menu meters will install itself as a preference pane in system preferences. So let's just load that up. So as you can see here we have those tabs that look very similar to activity monitor if I bring that up over here. We have the CPU usage which I have displayed over here and you can choose to have that display via the percentage, a graph, which will bring up a little graph right here but it's not showing that much because I'm not using that much of my CPU. The graph and the percentage 
the thermometer, which will show how hot it is. And then you have the percentage and thermometer, graph and thermometer, graph percentage and thermometer. But right now I just want to do, let's say graph and percentage to keep my, oops, graph and percentage. I clicked on the wrong one. So as you can see here, this is what that looks over here. Now, I have the percentage display over here to have a system all, or, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong thing, sorry. I have it displayed to small text just because I don't want to have like the huge medium text up here. So let's, um, let's do small text. And then as you can see here, I have the show average for multiple processors check mark because if I didn't have this check mark, then I would have a graph and a percentage marker for all four cores of my system. So let's just keep that check mark to only have the average. And then you can choose the different colors down here in case you want something different than red and blue. And then we can also display one for the disk activity and then one for the memory menu and then one for network. And you can basically just have all of these check marked and then you will have little reminders up in our menu bar that will show us how our system memory is being used. So that way we won't have to keep on going back to activity monitor, monitoring how everything is going just because we're so concentrated on how much CPU or disk memory we're using. But these work pretty much the same as iStat menus. You can hover over them and control various different options and things like that. And basically that's it. So those are two applications that can run in your menu bar that give the same features as Activity Monitor, but in a more accessible place to, you know, access them. So anyway, that's it. That is iStat menus and menu meters. I'll put the links to them down in the video's description in case you guys want to download them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.